and here is my last Twitter question about PhDs. So here we go and this question is from Mick Winter. Hi Mick. Mick's joining us from the Napa Valley. Good on you Mick. And Mick's question was and you know it's the foundational one really. What is the difference between masters and PhD programs between an MA thesis and a PhD dissertation? And of course this personally is quite an important question for Mick. He's done a masters and he's pondering about whether or not he's going to do a PhD. So it is a great question I think to ask about the differences between these different modes of doing scholarship. So Mick, let me give you the one big straightforward answer and then a few little caveats on the way through. So Mick, the one big difference between a PhD and a Masters is that a PhD must, yes, must demonstrate an original contribution to knowledge. So that may mean that you discover something in science, or it may mean that you offer a brand new interpretation on a relatively taken for granted theory or approach, okay? So it's an original contribution to how we think about something, an idea or an object, yeah? You can do it through experiments or you can actually just think about the world a little bit differently in response to a new context or a new environment. What a master's does is a master's synthesizes knowledge. So it takes already existing knowledge and puts it into a new shape or a structure and that's great. You'll never hear me knock a master's degree or you, I'll knock synthesizing knowledge. It has an incredibly important purpose but it is different from what we do in a PhD. Also of course there are other key differences. Questions of length. A PhD is often much longer than a master's degree. A coursework master's dissertation is about 20,000 words often. A master's by research is often about 50 thousand words, a PhD is 80 to 100 thousand words and therefore because of that word length the depth of the research, the scope of the research tends to be of a much greater order. Also a master's is often finished within two years, a PhD, hello, takes about three. The other difference, Mick, is a PhD is often the gateway into an academic career. Masters have a huge amount of currency in all sorts of different careers, but if you want to be an academic at a university, and we are in a university here, then the PhD is the way to do it. To be frank with you, I would very, very rarely hire somebody without a PhD to be an academic, so it is the gateway into an academic career. But if you are interested in applied research, if you're interested in case studies, then do think about a master's degree because it may be more appropriate in that type of format. And often the type of topic that you're thinking of researching will say to you, ah, right, this is more of a master's or this is more of a PhD. But the key is both are fantastic qualifications, both are important, but they are different. So thank you to Mick for that fantastic question and thank you to everyone so much for all the great questions that you gave me on Twitter to answer. Thank you and goodbye from the truly fantastic, wonderful place that is Charles Sturt University and Bathurst. This is what winter looks like in Australia. So to all my colleagues, my former colleagues in Canada and the United Kingdom, welcome to winter in Australia, guys. But thank you so much and keep in touch. Get in touch with me at Charles Sturt University. Love to have a chat or via Twitter or via Facebook. So thanks again and to the Times Higher Education, you change the world and you change universities by what you do. Thank you for all the kindness that you've shown me and thank you for all the great respect that you show doctoral candidates around the world. Bye-bye.